So today we're going to work on cutting out the background of an image in Photoshop. And a lot of times we want to remove the background of an image to isolate the subject or just to eliminate having a big a rectangle on the page where we can have a dynamic element that we can interact with other elements. In our toolbox on the right hand side there's a marquee tool which is a selection tool. I can just click and drag and that gives me a rectangular selection that I can use to select but that's not very handy for most of the things that we have. Uh, control D on my keyboard will deselect. Some other selection options are a lasso tool. So if I zoom in with Control Plus, I can just freehand trace around. And I can get pretty good with that. Kind of go around. I'll do it pretty quickly here. Um, and then I can do some cleanup. If I zoom in here, I can hold down my Alt key. And you can see the little minus sign on there. So I can remove parts from the selection. Uh, I can come back in here and say hit my shift key and add pieces back in. And that's pretty good for fine tuning. But you can see it's difficult to select things very accurately. Let's move on to some other tools. Uh, lasso might just be good for fine tuning. Underneath the lasso tool, if I press and hold this magnetic lasso tool, if I click, it'll try and find the edge. So I kind of work around the outside, and it does a pretty fair job. Uh, sometimes, though, it'll, it'll get confused when colors don't match up. Um, it may or may not, uh, you know, it just kind of depends on where you're at and how much color difference. So here, there's the color of his teammate behind his sleeve. It doesn't really know where to go, and that's, that's a typical problem. You can click to guide it. If you double click it, it finishes it off. And that's an option. It works pretty good. I prefer uh, to actually get in with the pin tool, the vector drawing tool that's carried over from Illustrator, and to come into my shape. And actually, you can get really close, hitting uh, Control Plus and getting in and just going around. Stop that there. Going around the outside, I'm going to hit Control minus to zoom out. Let me grab that pin tool again. And I can continue that path and go around. And I'm going to do this much quicker than what you would do, but you can zoom in and out, go in and around. So with the pin tool, you have the just clicking, which is making points like I'm doing here now, but I can also click and drag and I can make curves. So let me zoom way in here and you can see that if I click and drag, I can go along these curves. And you know, most people's bodies are made up of curves. And so if I come along here, and I like to click in the direction that I'm going and just kind of drag, there's a corner. So I just click on that corner to change a little bit of direction. And so you can see how, as you move along, you can really get the contours of the shape. So it really works out. The fewer points you use, the better. Using these smooth curves, you can see how I would come along here. Uh, having the million point method where you just click, 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 doesn't give you that smoothness. You want to try and get it to be as smooth as possible. You can see I go back, that was actually in that person. So I can come into here. All right, so let's just, I'm just gonna go around this very quickly so you can see that. I would do much better than that, but for time's sake, we'll just come in here and just finish this out. I get back to the last point. I get a little circle on my pin tool to close that path. Now, that's not a selection, but before I go in, I have the same selection tools that I have in Illustrator. I have this black arrow pointer that selects everything, but if I press and hold on that, I get the white arrow pointer. Let me click off and then back on, and I can go in and adjust these points. This is what I really like about the pin tools, being able to fine tune your selections as you go along. Being able to edit those points is really powerful. I like that much better than the lasso tool where you have to come in and just manually do those things. I also like, you can get on these handlebars and turn them. I also like 
the fact that if I save this image as a Photoshop right now, it'll have my path over here saved. So it'll save it with my file. So if I ever have to get interrupted while I'm working on this, I can come back and edit it. To make this into a selection, I press Control Enter. And now I have that as a selection. I can hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and there's my cutout background image. Now obviously if I have things I need to clean up, I might need to come back here and select some p other pieces and do that. But that to me is the way to control that the most. And then I want to go up and save my file. And I want to make sure I save it on my computer. And I want to save this as a Photoshop file to maintain that transparent background. So that's just a little tutorial on selecting objects and cutting them out within Photoshop. There are some options with your selection tools, but the pin tool is going to give you the most control uh, over your, your cutout as you're going along. Okay, good luck with your cutouts.